Guys, it's Cub here from United Tactical, and I'm here to show you guys how to install one of the required mods for United Tactical, which is called Task Force Radio. Now, Task Force Radio is kind of similar usage to Acre, but it's very different. The reason why we're using this mod instead of Acre is because Acre is having some problems with some clients and some people in our um, in United Tactical that can't run Acre correctly. So once you um, download it. I'm going to send you a link to it. I mean, once you get the link down in the description, you're going to go down to it and you're going to download here in Task Force Radio. I'm going to set the link down below. This is the actual mod. You're going to click down here on the bottom. Let's do that. I already downloaded it, but let's see it download it again. Now, once you have it downloaded, there's going to be two, it's going to be called 0.8.3. I'm going to open that up, and there's two files in there. There's one for the Arma 3, and there's one for TeamSpeak. If you don't have TeamSpeak, I'll put TeamSpeak down in the description below. TeamSpeak is a required, uh, basically, it's required to usage for the usage of Task Force Radio. And you need TeamSpeak 3 to operate it. So once you have TeamSpeak, you're going to get, um, you're going to basically go to your Arma 3 directory. You can go, if you use Steam, you can go to your Arma 3, right, cl right click on it, go to local files, go to brow lo browse local files, then it will take you to the directory. Once you're in the directory, open the Arma 3 folder, and please throw everything in that folder into your directory. Do not put it inside a folder. Just drag it in there, like this. Just drag it in there. Once you have completed that task, you're going to going to install the TeamSpeak plugin. To do that, you're going to going to go to your TeamSpeak folder. So you're going to as right here, my TeamSpeak 3 client. You're going to go to properties and go to open file location. It's the fastest way to find it. Well, for me it is. Once you found it, you're going to go to the plugins folder. And there's going to be all your plugins. Go to your plugins folder inside the file that you downloaded. Copy and you can drag it or you can copy and paste it in here into the plugins folder. Drag everything, even the radio sounds folder. Mine's already here as you can see. And here's the radio sounds. Once you completed that, you have now just uh, enabled it. I mean, you just downloaded uh, Task Force Radio. Now, to enable it, you're going to go to your TeamSpeak client. You're going to open up TeamSpeak. And when it goes to settings, click on plugins. Then you're going to enable Task Force Arma 3 Radio. Once you have that enabled, you're free to go. Make sure you join the TeamSpeak with the. Uh, make sure you join the Connected. TeamSpeak. That way you can uh, use it. You must be in a server to use that uh, Task Force Radio. You cannot communicate without anybody else that's not in your TeamSpeak and has Task Force Radio. They must be in the same channel and the same TeamSpeak. Now that you have got that. You're going to uh, pretty much enable Armor 3, uh, start up on Armor 3. But I recommend for all t um, United Tactical members, go to Set Launch Options, and you're going to grab this code. This code will enable Task Force Radio and CBA every time you launch it. If you don't want to do that, you can go into the Teams Armor 3, then go to Armor 3 config, uh, Configurations, go to Expansions, and enable the two mods, Task Force Radio and CBA. Once you can copy this string, I'll put it down below, and it'll automatically open. If you want to get rid of the string, you can just delete it and press OK. And let's see how it works in the game. 